One last go around in the combo this season for Ohio as it looked for a season sweep against Central Michigan. The Bobcats came out hot and took advantage of the Chippewas' early struggles. Central Michigan had 21 turnovers in the first half, which Ohio scored 25 points off of. Our players, I think this week, Thursday, Friday, and even at walkthrough this morning, were really locked in on understanding the philosophy and what they were trying to do and to put themselves in the right spot. And when you do that, you have a chance to be really disruptive, and tonight they were very disruptive. A big part of this was due to Monica Williams, who finished the first half with seven steals. Just remembering what we did in practice, knowing that we had to be in help, and then really just being in gaps, and then just going for the pass. This propelled Ohio to go into the locker room with a commanding 41 to 25 lead. But the Chippewas came crawling back with a 12-0 run in the third quarter to narrow the Bobcats' lead 48 to 43. We talked to each other. Coach Bob talked to us. We had to get it together on defense. Um, and defense was the main thing, and it charged our offense. I thought our players responded well uh, to start the fourth quarter to kind of regain that lead and defensively get back to our principles. The Bobcats bounced back from a sluggish third quarter to earn a 77-63 victory. Following the game, Ohio honored its six seniors for Senior Day. It's really been a very interesting group, and as is usually the case, I think sometimes we learn more than they learn while they're here, and it's been just a, it's been a great group to be around not only for their basketball, but for what this group has done off the floor and the way that they've impacted the team um, has been really special. And our seniors, they do a lot for us. And just to get this last one at home really brought us together. It's going to kick in for the rest of the season. Ohio will conclude the regular season on the road with a pair of games against Akron and Miami next week. Getting to Cleveland is something that's very important to us. Um, something that, that we certainly want to do and want to be a part of. Um, but we also want to, if, if we're fortunate enough to go, we want to go and play well. You know, I think playing well next week gives you the confidence to play well the following week in Cleveland. So we want to kind of build on what we've done here at home. Maybe try to win another road game before the year ends. That'd be cool. Reporting for Bobcat Showcase, I'm Marie Manessi.